Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two 28-inch 4K Ultra HD desktop computer monitors. I have previously reviewed both of these monitors before. The links to both of those videos will be in the video description below. By all means, go check those out if you are interested. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is to talk about the pros and cons of each of these monitors, why I would recommend one over the other, and basically to put them on the desk side by side so you can see what they look like sitting next to each other. Now briefly, the one in front of me is made by ASUS and currently costs about $500. The one over here is made by Samsung and costs $400. They're both 28 inch monitors, meaning from corner to corner, they're 28 inches diagonally. They're both 4K or Ultra HD, which is 3840 pixels across by 2160 pi uh, pixels vertical. What does that mean? It's four times the resolution or pixel density of standard Full HD or 1080p, which is what most people's monitors and TVs are. It's basically four monitors, four 1080p monitors together in terms of quality. Much, much higher resolution, much more detail. Um, the pixels are smaller, so text is cleaner, games look sharper, great monitors. They both run at 60 hertz refresh rate, as basically all 4K monitors do these days. Lower resolutions, there are some high refresh rate monitors for gaming, but both of these are 60 hertz monitors. I actually believe that the physical panels, the LCD screens inside, are actually the same panel. They're both one millisecond response time. Their specifications are very, very similar. I suspect, I don't have evidence of this, but having now used them after doing the initial reviews, they look the same. I mean, they're very, very, very similar in terms of quality. Um, so the panel, the quality, the resolution, the refresh rate is the same. So having just said all that, you might ask, well, why in the world would anyone spend $500 on the ASUS when you can spend $400 on the Samsung? That's a great question, and I've been asked that question multiple times already. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing this follow-up video, because I filmed the ASUS monitor first and then filmed the Samsung second. And during the video of the Samsung review, I make the comment that said, yes, it works fine, yes, it's okay, there's nothing wrong with it, but honestly, I recommend you go buy the ASUS. Why? Well, many people said, but the Samsung's fine. They're the same size, they're the same resolution, they're the same specifications. Why would you spend $100 more on the ASUS? I could use lots of words to type it out, or I could show you, which is why we're here. First of all, warranty. The Samsung has a one-year parts and labor warranty that you have to physically mail the monitor in. Now, of course, knock on wood, you never want to use a warranty, but it's nice to have in case you need it. The ASUS has a three-year advance exchange warranty. They will ship you the replacement monitor before you send this monitor back for three full years. That's worth something. How much depends on your personal take of things, but I personally think that's worth you know at least something. Let's talk about adjustments for a minute. This monitor does not tilt front or back. It does not move up or down. It has no swivel. It has no pivot. What you see is what you get. The ASUS monitor has a very nice, I'm going to use one finger on the bottom of the monitor. That is height adjustment. It will adjust that tall. I will use one finger to push it down. It goes all the way down that far tilt it tilts forward a little bit but it tilts back a lot any reflection you're seeing is because i've got lights on um, either side of the camera quite bright uh, studio lights shining so you're going to see some reflections in these screens in a normal home or office environment you won't have that much they are both matte screens i do believe that the same screen let me adjust that. there we go so this has height tilt and swivel the base is not going to move this swivels that far over and this far. Sure, you can drag this across the desk, but it's a very high quality base. In terms of stability, I'm gonna use my finger to push on this. This is heavy, or a lot heavier than the Samsung. It's solid, it's well built. This plastic, now it's plastic, but it's well built. The whole thing is very solidly constructed. What happens when I do that to the Samsung? It 
it's just cheaper all the way around. It's a cheap, flimsy base that is not adjustable versus a very solid, heavy base that isn't going anywhere. It has got an excellent um, height, swivel, and pivot uh, til um, uh, tilt adjustment. And it also, it goes this way, sorry. If you want to move your screen to portrait, it does that too. You're paying for that. So you've got a three-year advanced exchange warranty. You have got an excellent adjustable base that moves in many directions very smoothly. You have more inputs. And speaking of inputs, let's talk about that for a minute. Now, they both have DisplayPort. Let me turn this back around this way. They both have DisplayPort 1.2. So they will both run at 4K resolution, Ultra HD, at 60 hertz over DisplayPort. The ASUS will do 4K at 60 hertz over HDMI because it has HDMI 2.0. Most new graphics cards that have come out within the past year or so uh, have HDMI 2.0. Older cards aren't going to, but if you've got a 900 or 1000 series NVIDIA card or the new uh, AMD cards, they've also got HDMI 2.0, so it gives you more connectivity options for plugging in devices over HDMI. The Samsung has the older HDMI 1.4 standard. If you plug any HDMI device into the Samsung, you will only get 30 hertz refresh, which is annoying. Even in Windows, just using desktop Windows, the mouse is not as smooth, dragging Windows is not as smooth, and you certainly wouldn't want a game on it at 30 hertz. So you have HDMI 2.0 on the ASUS and HDMI 1.4 on the Samsung. USB 3 hub. The ASUS has got a USB 3 super speed hub built into it. Let me, there we go, turn this around. It's on the bottom, right down here. It does come with the cable to plug into your computer. Plug it into one H, uh, USB 3.0 port on your computer. And then you get two more USB 3.0 ports here to plug in printers, cell phones, USB thumb drives, external hard drives, etc. So there's more ports and more connectivity down on the bottom there. On-screen controls. Now I'm not going to show you the on-screen controls in this video, but here's what I will tell you. This has a very simple menu with just one control on the back. It's a joystick thumb switch. I showed it in the individual video. But basically, it's a relatively basic set of controls. It does the job. The ASUS has more features and functions, including preset gaming profiles that you can set to. So if you're watching films, if you're playing um, uh, dark noir uh, or horror games, if you're playing light, fun action games and you want bright uh, colors. There's multiple presets for different types of games to give you more options. Now, some people don't care about such things, but the built-in controls and circuitry in the ASUS is better than in the Samsung. At the end of the day, here's what it comes down to. $500, $400, one-year warranty, three-year warranty with advanced exchange, HDMI 1.4, HDMI 2.0. Tilt, height, pivot, and swivel adjustments, no adjustments at all solid heavy-duty construction that isn't going to wobble, cheap construction that is going to wobble. If you are going to game at 4K, you need a fairly hefty computer to do it. You're spending well north of $1,000 on your computer if you're serious about gaming at 4K. If you're spending that kind of money on a computer, $100 difference in the monitor shouldn't matter. And if it does, well, Everybody has their own circumstances in life, but I firmly believe in buying balanced components. If you buy a high-end quality computer, buy a high-end quality monitor. If you're just looking for something that runs Windows and it's cheap, okay, the Samsung will certainly do it. I, it works. There's nothing about this that does not work. The Samsung works fine. There's nothing wrong with the Samsung monitor. It's great. It works. It does what it's supposed to. I just believe that if the two price points you're looking at is $500 for the ASUS and $400 for the Samsung, the ASUS is worth the extra $100. The better warranty, the better base, the better on-screen controls, the, the, the better preset features, 
the, the HDMI 2.0, the USB 3.0 hub, I believe that at this level of monitor, those features are worth $100. But you might disagree, and that's okay, which is why I reviewed the Samsung, and at the end of the day, the choice is yours. Let me make one minor modification to that. If you can find the Samsung for $300, my opinion changes. Because at $300, I actually think that starts to become more of a deal. If you're just looking for a basic anything, a, a, a big 4K monitor that you can buy for cheap, just to step up to 4K, maybe you'll use it for a year or two and upgrade later if you think about it. Okay, at $300, I can recommend the Samsung much more. But at $400, it's too close to the ASUS. I just think for $100, it doesn't, it loses too much to save the $100. This is my opinion. If you disagree with me, that's what the comment section below the, the, below the video is for. Speak your mind or forever hold your peace. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there. If it's not red because you've already subscribed, thank you. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, agreements or disagreements, uh, by all means post it in the section below the video. As I say in most of my videos, um, if you found this video helpful, if any of this information from this video or my other videos are helpful, please use the links in the video description below, both to my prior reviews of this, but also to Amazon and Newegg, which I will link to for both of these monitors. You can go check them out. They are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission. It is my primary funding source for these videos. I did not receive either of these for free. I bought both of these with my own money. And if you want to see more videos, I would certainly appreciate it if you help me out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you next time.